<laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are Those Vegan Guys. I thank you for joining us on this uh, Sunday Live in our kitchen where we're doing something a little bit different today because we're doing someone else's recipe. Uh, Caribbean pineapple and black bean stew from the first Hench Herbivore cookbook. Yes. It's Gemma's recipe, really. She does all the cooking. Sure, up, Hench. I know, true. Um, but it's a gorgeous, it's gorgeous. It really is. We pimp it up a bit uh, on the chilli because we like it spicy. And we really like the combination of chilli with pineapple, don't It's we? beautiful. It's very yeah. nice. So, uh, we'll go, I said we. I'm going to supervising my husband today in the cooking. Now it has to be said, here's there's the fairness of the matter. It's very dark in here, Jason. Well, we've got all the lights on like we'd normally have on. Oh, mind you, I'm not a chef. <laughs> <laughs> not a chef, I always look dark. Anyway, we're doing uh, <laughs> we're doing that today. Jason's doing it. It has to be said though, I have prepared everything for him. If you look behind us there. Not the pot noodles. No, not the pot noodles, but all of them bowls there. That's all of the ingredients prepped. Not just prepped, but it's like, for example, cumin and chili powder going at the same time, so they're in the same little pot. Nice. Fail safe. Yeah, I've tried to make it fail safe because I want a nice dinner tonight. And the, one more good thing about this uh, stew, let's not forget that uh, Encho is a big fat ox. I mean, he's full of muscle, but he's still a big fat ox. He eats a lot of food. So this recipe in his book says two servings. Two servings? For oh. who? In Jervivor, or in the nutrition, maybe, but not us. Yeah. Uh, it always lasts us two meals, always. So, usually, you know what we're like when we're like, if we do a curry, we have it the first night with rice and naan bread, if we can, and the second night we have with chips. Yes. You know, we, we save it. Now, this is a similar thing, as in the first night we have it, we just have a bowl of it. Usually, with a couple of cream crackers, you'd be surprised how well they go with it. And then the second night, we'll have it with rice. Yeah. Because there's less of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a fantastic recipe. It's it tried great. and tested. Yeah. Today was a little bit about, um, well, what, what are we actually eating later? What have we got in? What's practical? Um, but also, Paul's, like he said, done all the prep work for me. It's a one-pot dish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So technically... You shouldn't have any issues. Shouldn't have any issues yes. today. Um, I will just say a quick hello um, to the few of you that are in the chat that are here on a live for the first time. So thank you for being here and thank you to all of you for being here. And for those of you that have already given the YouTube live stream a thumbs up, it's greatly appreciated. And Always appreciate it. Helps tremendously. Helps tremendously. So yeah, all the prep's done. So we're going to just give it a few minutes, let people filter in. Uh, as is off the case. Yeah, just to, let's get a few more in before we start. Do you want me to now, finish oh, your tea off for you while you? Yeah, yeah. Can I have a bit, a little bit of milk in that. I'm yeah. having a toffee chai from Bird and Blend. Um, what were I saying then? It were out important. I don't think you'd started. I had, and then you in interjected about my tea. Someone will remember. Tell me what I was saying. <laughs> smells lovely actually Star Cradle, hello darling I, I feel like I haven't read you for a long time and always always nice to uh, to read you so hopefully as well as you will uh, note um, at some hopefully point not in the not too distant future um, we'll be getting a new webcam. It is on our wish list uh, as we speak. I'm probably going to have to wait until I get my first wage from a new job, and I don't know when that's going to be because I don't even know when training starts yet. Um, but we're, we're, we're going to get a new webcam because all this one, uh, although this one has served us great and it's good, it doesn't have autofocus. And when we're doing these cookings and and stuff, it's it's just going to be so much better. So I've chosen the top rated one by streamers 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good. Like it's like Paul said, this is fine. This is absolutely fine. It does look a little bit darker on sc screen, but then I don't always trust. I don't trust the YouTube preview. I, I, I'd open that. Yeah, but then we've got one-sided lighting. Well, let's see. Mm, no. No. No, that's bad. That's even worse. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. There we go. Maybe I just look rough and I'm not keen on that. I do look rough. We had a we had a brutal few hours at the allotment yesterday, didn't we? We did. As you'll see in tomorrow's vlog. Although it's considering what we did is quite a short one. We're, yeah. tra we're trying to be more concise. A little bit. With our with our vlogging. And but, also uh, we, by it we got a lot done. We got so much done that we had to go down today to check. I was just like, I just need to know everything's okay. It was. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, it doesn't help either, that at the weekends when we do try to have a little bit of a sleep in and catch up on a bit of sleep, uh, our lovely fur baby, Isis, our cat, um, doesn't particularly like us sleeping in. So we'll oh, she's often be meowing at the door at silly o'clock in the morning, waking us up. Uh, so, yeah. Freddie P, I am not nervous uh, about the new job. Um, I'm overly excited um i'd forgotten this is going to sound really random but i don't care because it honestly it comes from a really good place it's a positive thing i'd forgotten how much people with mental health issues and additional needs meant to me mm. yeah and so the second part of the interview which was at a kind of weekly social event where I suppose we were being tested as well on our you know interactability with everybody I couldn't wait to talk to everybody and just find out a bit more about them and I spoke to everybody uh it's a this is a support work on this level is a job I've done before and I'm very comfortable with that I didn't realise how much I would miss when I left it. And the only reason I left it the last time is because Jason and I were about to open a cafe, mm. um, Cafe Namaste, and then Brexit happened and then COVID happened and the rest is history. Um, so, so yeah, thank you for the question. Thank you for putting the question marks uh, because that really helps. It does help. <clears throat> And uh, no, not at all, just really eager and excited and um, yeah, because I know how fulfilling that work is and there's nothing like getting to the end of a day's work and feeling really fulfilled and achieved, so yeah. yeah. Definitely. You're looking forward to getting it all underway, aren't you? Yeah, I just don't, like I say, I don't know how long it's going to be. Um, it's all going to be done by email at first because there's online training to do and stuff like that. And of course, it, it's, I've got to go through all the training and get a new uh, DBS, CRV, however you know it, uh, before I can actually start work. So It's all good, isn't it? It's all good. Oh, Peter, one of the stipulations about me looking for work is that it had no effect on uh, the channel. Mm. In fact, the first job that I interviewed for, which I was basically offered, the, the reason I didn't take it is because the hours were terrible and would have really caught into what we do. Massively with impacted. The channel and our time together. Yeah. And I didn't want to... Um, Compromise on that. In fact, yeah. As I've always said, we won't compromise on that. With your new role, um, it's very similar to um, to what I do uh, in terms of my work that I do Monday to Thursday. Um, there are going to be occasions where both of us have got to work a Saturday or a Sunday. Just occasionally, it happens. Yeah. It's gonna happen, but I've already it? warned them about that as well and said, like, the, my vegan queen shows come first mm -hmm. um, and I can give you dates now for them yeah which is good you know so that i'm not asked to work on those days uh keith hi keith thank you for letting us know um keith. it's keith it's just me i look rough don't forget i've got a drag queen soul so even though i look like i suppose the average early 50s man to me i'm like oh my god my eyes are dark my skin's pale i've got stubble 
call me lines and creases and bags under my eyes. It's because I'm not in makeup. <laughs> Imran is in the house. Hey, you guys. Good to see you. Or good to read you, should I say, sir. Good to read you. Nice, bright, sunny Sunday, but I'm recovering from bathing up my lungs. How's everyone doing? Oh, dear. Oh, dear, Imran. Oh, can we say as well, please, a, a big um, hello and thank you to our lovely moderators who demand, demand your respect. <laughs> and that would be Leanne, Ashley and Alex. Their names are in blue and they've got a little wrench at the side of their names, which they will hit you with if you're vile. Oh, they'll twist it like this. For anyone who's just joining us, I'm uh, mimicking the usage of a wrench. Um, we should, I suppose we should get started for 10 minutes in. Thank yes. you all of you, by the way, for the thumbs up. It really does help with YouTube robots. Um, we are uh, 88 in the house, 54 thumbs up. Thank you very much. Before I get into the thick of it with this, because I'm going to be distracted uh, focusing on cooking, um, I'll just also just very quickly say hi to mum and dad, send in love, and I will uh, no doubt give you a quick call for a catch up later on. Um, but yeah, hope you're good. Right, that's that. Just right. To get get that sorted before I forget or get distracted. Right. Right, indeed. So, right, what I what do I need to do? Well, I'm going to sit here with the instructions and I'm going to tell you what to do. Okay. Uh, so, you need a pan. Obviously. Yeah. So we've got the pan. I'm a bit worried about sitting so close to this uh, this cooker. Okay. So what we're going to do first is we're going to steam fry the onion for five minutes. The onion being one red onion chopped. Okay. And you'll find that over there. Should I put this on now? Yes. And of course you know what I know. But I, yeah. Let that warm up. It doesn't need any oil or anything. We're steam frying today. We're not using oil. Okay, I think I've correctly identified onion. That's your red onion okay. chat. Uh, your stock's there because your stock is what we use to steam fry. So you can. Onions first and then stock? Yeah, put that in first. So as soon as they start making noise, we'll put a little, just a little splash of stock in. All of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Was it all command? So a little bit in there. That's not good chefing from that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm well wondering if this is... I don't know if it's like... Is that as high yeah, as it goes? Put it on. I know, but it's, it seems low. To, to, compared to the one down... Oh, no. No, it's going now. Right. Compared to the one down at our... Uh, in the shed down at our allotment, that one's like... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you need some kind of utensil. Yes. I would suggest the wooden spatula that we'd always use. You break them up a bit because they've been chopped, but you know they're still they're still conjoined in some places. Imagine how achieved I'm going to feel. <laughs> so, for anyone that's just joining us. Oh, this is part of our merch, by the way. Merch, both wearing merch today. You should all check our merch link, link out. Help us buy our merch. <laughs> There's quite the selection. Right, now wait, now look. Get a stock. Yeah, just a, literally a splash from us. Literally a splash of stock. So it sizzles. Okay, yep. Yeah. So we're just going to fry these, steam fry these for a few minutes until they soften, lighten, go a little bit kind of translucent. Mm. Nice. Are you able to see the comments from there? I am. Yes. Just checking, I'm not blocking anything. Keith says, great, there's no oil. Uh, I need to lose a few more pounds. I've... Um, Should I put some more stock in it because it's sticking a little bit? Now? Yes, yes. And that's why I did it's a little bit too much. That is going to boil now. All oh, right. It's okay though. Uh, add the garlic and the pepper. We might as well add them now because there's a lot, a lot of liquid in there. Okay. 
garlic and pepper. Okay. The, red, the red pepper and the crushed garlic I've put in the same pot together. No, red pepper and crushed garlic. You went for powders then. <laughs> Just chuck it in, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't make the same mistake that I made last time. Jeez. Make sure I get every last tiny little bit out. Don't want anyone kicking off. But we don't want waste, do we? We don't. No, we don't. That's very true. And just consider, continue to just integrate it all, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And now that liquid's dissipated a bit, that's better. Yeah. Nice. Smells good. Okay, now we're going to add the cumin and the chilli. Cumin and the chilli are That's the, the powdery same. stuff. The cumin is the powdery stuff. The garlic should be fresh minced garlic. But they're both in the same pot because they're going at the same time. Confused. Yeah. Chili. It was the garlic. Oh, sorry. Confused. The cumin and chili. Yeah. So that's our cumin powder and our chili powder, but also for us some fresh chilies. One green chopped and two small red chopped. Okay. Straight in, yeah. 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 Just give that a real good mixture. Just get this off the excess out of that. And I'll give you another splash. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Now leave that just flat frying for a second. Yep, just like that. Yep, just let them cook through. And you need to open it to the tomatoes. Okay. So a tin of chopped tomatoes, our stock, our oregano, and our black pepper are all going to go in next. Straight in there, bronze. Yes. Very nice one to the chat tomatoes. Give it a mix here. Yeah? Both wearing white t-shirts today. Now I know you're you've been incredibly successful in Sunday cooking in the kitchens wearing your white hoodie. But I'm a little bit worried about myself to be honest. Okay. And then that can just do its thing for a short while, yeah? Yeah. Uh, well no, now add all the rest of the stock. Yeah. yeah like Add the tomatoes, stock, oregano and black pepper. So all of the stock now. All of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, oregano. Yeah. Oregano and black pepper. So it's two teaspoons of oregano and for us about a teaspoon of black pepper. Quite a lot in there. Yeah, straight in. Really went stir it then. I'm trying to, I'm trying to hold back. Can we have some more thumbs up for the Jason cooking, please? Let's get them to at least a hundred. There are 111 people watching. Oh, that would be fabulous. You know me. Those of you that are that are regulars on our live streams, you know the sense of joy that I get when we hit a hundred thumbs up. It's it's it brightens my 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 soul a little bit. Okay, that's all, I think, sorted, isn't it? Yeah, and so we uh, bring that to the boil and we simmer it for 15 minutes. Right, 
Well, I guess that's going to take her. And then the final step is adding um, the courgette, the black bean and the pineapple. Uh, but what we'll do, because we're having this for our dinner, um, we we will add the courgette later on, otherwise it'll be mushy when we have it. Right. Okay. So we don't add the courgette now. Just, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't. But we do let this bring this to the boil. I mean, really, we could move this now because it's got it's literally got to simmer for fifteen minutes, so until twenty-five to. Uh, well, I'll I'll move it because it's gonna. I'm gonna have to turn it off to move it. Just to be on the safe side, yeah. You know I mean? Just so we're not so fat with it simmering. Literally there. You go, okay, mate. Yeah, fine. There we go. That was straightforward enough. You know. But the smells, and I already know it's going to taste amazing. So, you know, like we said at the start, tried and tested. 85. Thank you so much, everyone. That's, yeah, that's as high as it goes. Yeah, no, I was, I was seeing how much it turned down. Ah, how right. easily it turned down. For simmerage. So, how y'all do win? <laughs> <sighs> that's not very nice, Lee Richardson, is it? That's not very nice at all. Have you been on a, one of our live streams before? Um, part of us asking for thumbs up is uh, so that we can gain greater reach on YouTube so that more people find out about the down to earth oh, message. Oh, you don't even have to answer. Lee, if you don't know us and you don't know the channel, don't come on and make rude comments like that. How about that? Down to earth veganism on we the reg. constantly with our subscribers, our community, and how dare you assume we don't. Um, yeah, I've noticed a few people. Apparently, it's uh, Mother's Day in Canada today. So for all of you that are in Canada, um, happy Mother's Day. And obviously to, uh, to to the mothers out there in Canada as well. I'm guessing just naturally that different parts of the world celebrate Mother's Day on different days. Yeah, well, in I, I wonder if it's different throughout Europe as well, or whether Europe is all the same. Oh, no, that's old. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Grosser. <laughs> A little bit. Little bit. Uh, so, yeah, um, I guess there's maybe some parts of the world that just don't celebrate Mother's Day at all. But, you know, yeah. Anywho. Everyone that's loving Jason's uh, shirt, by the way, this is our own design and it's on our Teespring, uh, which is always down in the uh, description. You just have to look down a bit. Uh, and there's a version of this on there as well. Uh, slightly bigger and a little bit brighter. Yeah, nice. Uh, and there's um, th there's loads of stuff. Yeah, thanks. Loads of stuff. Thanks, Leanne. By the way, thank you. Uh, mm. Cheers, Eric. I'm uh, I'm very uh, excited. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it'll take too long to get stuff sorted. You know, like you said, there's a little bit of online training to do, isn't there? And there's a little, just sorting out your DBS and everything, and then that's it. You can start. As far as I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, indeed. Oh, this is smelling nice. So this is just bubbling away now, isn't it? Oh, Lee, dude, for, for the record, Lee's been hidden from the channel forever. Uh, so if you're still watching, Lee, um, it, just, uh, you know, uh, uninformed rudeness like that shouldn't, be, never mind, shouldn't be tolerated on a YouTube channel in life by anyone. And we certainly don't tolerate it here. So if you turn that down now. I've turned it down a little bit, yeah, just okay. so it's simmering. It's simmering. Yeah. I think that's so it stops making noise, but there's still little bubbles. That's what simmer is. I'm not being condescending there. No, 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 I know. No, it's uh, when it comes to when it comes to cooking stuff in the kitchen. That's oily. Is that yeah? So down more. Gentle bubbles, no noise. That's okay. That's simmer. Yeah. yeah. Just checking that the uh, the flame on the thing was actually still lit because sometimes you turn it down to light, so it's tiny. It goes out. Uh, organic silver moon. We are making um, we are making uh, Caribbean 
pineapple and black bean stew from the first Hench Herbivore cookbook, uh, which is all whole food, plant-based and oil-free and is fabulous. Yeah. Um, alternative to, oh, Keith, I reckon sweet potato would be gorgeous, actually. Yeah, yeah, that would, and that's still keeping in theme, I suppose, because uh, sweet potato jams are yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a kind of Caribbean thing as well, aren't they? Yeah, I think sweet potatoes would really work in it. Uh, luckily, we love a courgette, and it's a great recipe for us because, well, right now I've got three courgette plants on the go, and I've got more seeds going in because we use them a lot, don't we? I, I cook with them, but I will we'll also use them in a salad. Yeah, three things because I do pay, I try and pay attention. Three things recently that we've acknowledged in terms of always having in. Um, spring onions is the second thing, and white cabbage. White cabbage. I'm, I'm using white cabbage so much yeah. in salads, in cooking, in Thai dishes, in uh, donkey kebabs, you know. Uh, can't Stop Lying. New, the new Star Trek TV show. Um, first episode brought tears to my eyes. So good. Oh, we are. We, 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 we'll be watching it soon. Yes. Uh, we're trying to figure out how... Paramount Plus isn't available on Amazon. It's available in the UK now, but it's not available through our Amazon stick, is it? No, like you'd think it would be, wouldn't you? All other streaming yeah. platforms seem to be. Um, um, yeah. So, yeah, we might have to uh, watch that the same way we watch Survivor. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out one way or the other, because I've heard... And I don't want a torrent things. of abuse for watching things not from this country. <laughs> Uh, da Vinci, thank you. Thank you, good sir. Odds makers in Vegas have a two to one odds. Bromley will succeed. Mm -hmm. He is a musician with vegan chef tendencies. I think that's an extreme reach, uh, vegan chef tendencies, uh, but I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm certainly not a chef. I am not even a cook. Um, but yeah, I think, I think one pot meals where it's just like, right, add this, then add this, then add this. It's a lot of prep and then just doing it in the right order, isn't it? And thankfully, like I said at the start, Paul did all the prep today. So I've not, I'm not having to work too hard, really. Do you know what I mean? Craft Lover 9 says, love the sweet potato idea. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Hey, 100 thumbs up. Thank you, everyone. That uh, is awesome. Oh, Cheers. Thank you, guys. Um, that peanut stew that we made last week the main ingredient of that is sweet potatoes what was it you said paul peanut stew yes peanut stew did anyone watch the last meals vlog with um subtitles on cc it doesn't understand us sometimes and it makes all kinds of rude things up well i'm gonna say it because google wrote it so don't you be docking me google you're, you wrote it on our screen because you couldn't understand me. Maybe if you say it now, it'll... It said African penis juice. Maybe it'll... One of our subscribers took a picture and said... But what happens... Look at what Google's translating you to. What happens if you say that? What does it translate it to then? What if it gets confused and then thinks it's peanut stew when you're actually trying to say the other I thing? very clearly said... African peanut stew. It's confusing. It doesn't sound like penis juice. It doesn't. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Uh, Beck, thank you for being here and thank you for sharing. That's lovely. After watching your Freaky Shakes vid, we went down for amazing shakes. What nice people too. Oh, aren't they lovely? Excellent. Aren't they lovely? Did you enjoy? I kind of did. I'm in the middle of a diet at the moment, so I'm trying to be careful. We had a takeaway last weekend. Didn't we? we had a Chinese last night. I'm making sure I'm having my treat nights, but I'm still losing weight, and that's really good. Um, I'm doing IF certain days of the week. Uh, so I'm kind of like, I'm not in the place yet where I'm confident that I can have that kind of treat too often. Mm -hmm. Maybe once every three weeks, I'll go and have a shake as a, as a lovely treat. It's a big treat, isn't it? That? Yeah. I mean, the shakes are um, you're very indulgent i think is the word i would use um but yeah absolutely 
Organic Silver Moon, thank you for your kind words. Always support this channel and the garden vlogs. The, these are the most amazing people. Love those vegan guys. Well, you're going to love thank tomorrow's uh, allotment vlog. It's a cracker. Honestly, when we... But I, I, you'll see it in the vlog, but it got much worse. <laughs> Later, in the vlog, I'm already going, ah. <laughs> oh, back. Oh, ah. Later on, like last night, all last night, we were both like, oh, where are we sitting down, yeah. standing up? Well, that's because we did about five hours down there yesterday. We did, we did a long time. We had we one yesterday. coffee break, and yeah. that was about it. Mm -hmm. We just grafted and got a lot done. Mm. Um, there's still, I mean, there's still loads more to do, but what we said yesterday, I mean, we won't give too much away, and we do appreciate that not every single person that's on the live stream today is necessarily interested even, so we'll keep it brief. But yesterday, what we really did was focus on the stuff that needed to be done. So there's still quite a bit of weed tidying up and weeding to do around our beds, but a lot of our beds themselves now are in great shape, aren't they? That's, that's the key thing. Uh, Beck, I haven't tried the 16-8 thing. Um, that's where you, you, you fast for 16, including your sleep, don't you? And then you've got an eight-hour window of eating. That's my kind of, oh, no, it's a bit more than that, really, my average window of eating. But it just wasn't working for me. I just eat too much. I snack during the day and everything. Cutting out breakfast and lunch a few days a week and basically doing all my dog. I mean, I do do one meal a day on certain days of the week but i snack an hour after so my window shot is like three maximum four hours my eating window sometimes it's only one it's one hour i allow myself but it like i said it's been really working for me and the weight's coming off and i'm feeling it's funny isn't it how you, you lose i mean now i've lost um six kilograms Mm -hmm. in just over a month six weeks i think it's four or five weeks yeah yeah like four between like. four and six weeks i've yeah. lost six kilograms um and that's not far off a stone so i can of grumble yeah uh isis is um in fact you know what i'm going to take a picture of isis and then i'll show you <laughs> <laughs> oh there we go there we go. Uh, just going to scroll up whilst Paul's doing that, make sure we've not missed anything. The food is simmering away nicely over my shoulder. Uh, Peter, yes, Mr. Morgan, um, I did see. Um, did you hear that Piers Morgan is back and he thinks that vegans are killing all the bees with California almonds? I did see the article, yeah. Um, I think I think Piers Morgan is is a is a, a he's a hunter of sensationalism, isn't it? So he'll say and do anything, like a small child. <laughs> That's how she's on her bean bag in her bedroom. I like that she looked and posed. Looking back at me just like, oh, have you come to take a picture? <laughs> That's brilliant. That is brilliant. She loves that bean bag. She's, uh, she just sinks into it and that's her gone. Oh, Adam, thank you for popping your head in, uh, dude. Uh, hello and goodbye, guys. I shall be watching later. Uh, so busy in the garden today, moving stuff and preparing my new vegetable patch fabulous you've got to do it you've got to take advantage of the good weather get out there and, uh, and get stuck in that's exactly what we did yesterday uh, uh, oh, oh jumpy jumpy it did jump a little then didn't it ah oh, we were there that's all good all right 25 two brommers yeah we've got a couple more minutes so is that about right <clears throat> did you say 22 25 two Ah, well, I'll have a look then. Oh, you have, you have a look. Yeah. Uh, da Vinci, um, the the best solution and the be the solution that is um, definitely, yeah, the best solution and the solution that is best for nature and for wildlife is to just keep on top of the weeding, just in general. So that is what we're going to do. Okay. Okay. And now. Um, Oh, oh, 
project at the moment. Thank you, Sharon, for the kind words. It's your black beans. Okay. So this is, let's say this is the equivalent of, um, what did they use in the recipe? Two tins of black beans, uh, drained and rinsed. But I did these in the Instant Pot uh, this week because we had black bean burgers a few nights ago, which were quite delicious. Straight in? Straight in, yeah. I'm going to try and do it. So I think there's a little bit more, a little bit more than two cans there, but that's fine because, like I said, this will last us. There we go. I'm trying to avoid spilling, um, splashing. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to avoid. So that's that. Should put that in there. And your pineapple, 260 grams. Uh, I cut up a fresh pineapple today. So I've got four limbs of it left. You know, you use a chopper and you get like eight limbs and then the centre bit. <clears throat> and I've got four left in the fridge for whatever. All in, yeah? Yeah. Just give that a really good mix now. Yeah. Get all that pineapple juice. Mixed in with everything. We like quite a, a large piece of pineapple. Well, it's not just a taste thing, it's a textural thing as well, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> just give people a quick look at that. Yeah. Now, well, you can add the, what we'll do now is we'll take it off the heat because we'll. I'll, we'll finish cooking it yep. later on for yeah. our dinner. If we were going to eat this now, we'd have the courgettes and then just cook it until they were slightly al dente, ready. But we'll put them in and show you, and then we'll turn the heat off. Yeah. And we'll rewarm it later for our okay. dinner, but you might as well put them in now. Eileen makes an interesting comment. Might be a bit too sweet with sweet potato and pineapple, me thinks, question mark. I don't know, because the black beans are a very kind of uh, bland umami flavour, aren't they? Nice. There we go. Just so you can get a quick look at that. Wholesome, hearty grubbins. So this is just go over, over here now, yeah? Well, put the courgettes in so that people can see it with the courgettes in. And then, yeah, later on we just warm it up, like you said, yeah? Sometimes it takes three or four times to save it. Yeah. Put them in. All of them? Yes. There's a lot. There's a lot. You have just two courgettes chopped. And then just let them... Just get well, them give it another good mix round. Yeah. So that when we come to reheat it later on, it's just ready to go. And I'll probably add a little bit more stock. The recipe calls for 500 millilitres. I started with 625 so that we could do the... Um, steam frying uh but i still think later on it will need a little bit more liquid okay and it's cooking but you can give people yeah i'll let them have a look yeah it's just there. right yeah so there we go all sorted for later on fabulous very nice okay Right, I'll shift this over here. Yeah. I'll just whack it on top of there for now, Jane. We'll get it on the hob later when we're going to use it. Ah, there we go. Fabulous. See, does it? Is it just me? Is it just look brighter now all of a sudden? I can have some of my tea now. I think it's gone a bit brighter outside. Yeah. Does anyone else have one of these? With like old bits you've printed off, and I've got tea stains and coffee stains and cake stains and well that sits over there in the recipe books you know our bits just scrolling up just to make sure we didn't miss anything uh jay and i've been watching some of the um court case only bits mind just been dipping in and out mm. a little bit here and there
Uh, organic silver moon. Uh, I'm making stuffed cabbage with impossible meat for dinner today. Do you get the impossible or beyond plant-based meat where you are? I think it's available, but we don't get it. Yeah. No, I think, we, we're... Um, uh, I think they're both available, aren't they? I think so. <clears throat> but we usually just use... if Like, if we want a soya mints, we use Sainsbury's all frozen. Exactly, so the size of that pan actually, <laughs> two portions that according to M. Chair before. Yeah, but like you said, God damn! He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a fat ox. He's a big lad. He's a big. Well, fat ox is a term of endearment for saying he's a big lad who needs a lot of food. I, even I didn't realise until we met him at a vegan camp out, even I didn't realise just how much. I'll say this, and it's meant in the most complimentary way possible, but I don't want people to misconstrue. He's a unit. When, I, when we met him at Vegan that's Camp what Jason Out. always says when he sees somebody massive. <laughs> He's an absolute beast of a man. Height and um, width, girth. With, with big. Anyway, I'll stop talking about Hench's height and girth now. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fridge. <laughs> Roll that. Oh, so. A little bit further, bit further down. down, Ashley. Ashley, he's, he's a, a fridge. fridge. Nice, nice. That's great. Uh, Alison, any suggestions for using up fresh carrots? We seem to have a ton of them. Carrot and coriander soup. I was just about to say that. But that's uh, maybe obvious. I don't know. I mean, they're the kind of they're half the ingredient that the potatoes are, but the carrot and potato cheese sauce. Oh. That we made on the last live. Yeah. The last Sunday live in the kitchen. That's dead easy and it's gorgeous and it freezes. Yeah. So you could batch it up and then mm, just have it in the freezer if you've got portions. got the space. That's a good idea. Yeah. Alex says carrot, carrot cake. cake. Yeah. Great minds. Yes. Keith says I feed carrots to badgers that visit the garden. Nice. nice. Great stuff. Yeah. Oh, carrot fritters. Nice, nice Mary. Nice one. Karen. Mary Karen. Karen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah good stuff so yeah we the cooking part because paul did all the prep pretty straightforward i'm kind of glad you did do the prep though to be fair i know because it would have been a bit boring and oh a bit i know time consuming no, you've got to do your prep if you're doing a live cook along you have to do, well it's not cook along is it because otherwise you'd have all as i told you days ago we all meant to say, here's, here's what it was. I was planning to do the pineapple and black bean stew with the black beans that I'd, you know, I'd done and I did black bean burgers. And it was just last night. I was like, you know what? We should have that stew tomorrow. So you make it. Pointed at him. You make it. He was like, oh, yeah, nice to tell me that the night before. I said, I'll help you. I'll sort it out. Yeah. He was like, all right, then. I actually genuinely don't mind. I really don't mind. And it's quite it's quite enjoyable. And it's in the same way that now, funnily enough, today, um, I'm also fairly confident now that I can use the almond cow to make milk. Because you, sixth or, sixth or seventh, I've lost count now, sixth or seventh lot of milk that you've done. But today was the first time that I actually paid attention to what he was doing and kind of got the gist of, you know, what to do in the right ratios of things. It's fairly straightforward. I think I could have a go next time. But yeah, it's fairly straightforward and uh, and fabulous as well uh, in terms of the results. So happy days. Do still use sparingly a little bit of our tried and tested cocoa milk um, now and again uh, when we're having a, a tea or a, a coffee sometimes. Joseph Michael, do you like the Beyond Burgers? I think we've tried them once i can't remember you know I, well i can't remember but the thing is i think we, we've we, tried loads of different burgers and we've we've always end up ended up coming back to the exact same one linda mccarthy's quarter pounders yeah yeah we I think, just love them they're at the definitely our favorite beef style yeah burger definitely and i think they'd be i mean over in the uk anyway um, it's the one of the few things that actually is like top end Price wise, I think if we did try them, I think we got them yellow stickered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we got them yellow stickered and tried them, and we were like, well, yeah, they're all right, they're all but right. they're not. 
James for the money. doing an upside down pineapple cake tomorrow. I've, I've made one a good few years ago. From it's on one of our vlogs, it's on one of our family meals vlogs, I think. Yeah, yeah. not the recipe, just us eating it because I referenced that I got the recipe from the Vegan Society website. Oh, it was lovely, mm. right? Good cake, yeah. It's a classic, it's an 80s classic, isn't it? Pineapple 70s, and 80s. 70s, yeah. Sorry, 70s, yeah. Hmm. Oh, Steph, I'm going to try the um, macadamia nuts as soon as I can source some. I might have to try Holland and Barrett here. Uh, but I'm still on this um, oat canut mix I've been doing. Mainly oat with a bit of coconut and a little bit of uh, sunflower, less of thin. Mm. And a bit of vanilla, a bit of maple, a bit of salt. It's like a three to one ratio, isn't it? Or stuff or coconut, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's good stuff, like I said. It really is. And such a simple thing to do. Do you know what I mean? Linda, I know you're going through a... a time at the moment because you've posted about it on many of our vlogs and in several of our chats now but don't keep acknowledging it because you're actually perpetuating it by doing that you're having a lovely chat with people right now talking about how lonely you are and that's a little bit rude when you think about it because we're all here with you right now we're all talking and you're telling us how lonely you are just think about it. when you choose your moment, sweetheart, and acknowledge when there's a good moment. Right now, you're here and we're all chatting. Okay? It's a good thing. So try to be less negative for yourself and everybody else in the chat. Jane says, I'm trying to adapt my vegan recipes so that my hubby can have them. He's diabetic. Ah. That is good. That is good. Probably not always easy, but I'm sure a lot of stuff is doable. I mean, as we've established today, I'm no expert. When I was when I was working at Age UK, the cook there, Dawn, was lovely. She was fabulous. She used to do a lot of uh, desserts and puddings with this granulated sweetener, and it seemed to work really, really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of the clients there were diabetic, so... I don't know which one she used, but it was a cracker. Uh, I don't necessarily know if that is something we can help with. Uh, it's the Amazon wish list, isn't it? Um, I think they are, aren't they? Hey, gee. What do you mean our organic silver moon? What what links? Do you mean in our Amazon store? Because that, that would basically mean setting up a whole other store specifically for America. Ah, right. They're very funny <clears throat> like that, Amazon. But if there's ever anything you want and you want me to create an affiliate link, I might be able to do that. I'm not sure though. Uh, da Vinci says, is there a key to cutting a pineapple? Uh, well, I use one of these. I top and tail it, skin it, and use one of these. So I suppose if your pineapple's small enough, you could use that. If it was big enough, you'd be struggling, wouldn't you? But that's per is that a technically an apple corer? No, it's a pineapple. Oh, is it for a pineapple? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, okay, well, there you go. Yeah, so, when have you ever seen an apple that big? Cooking apple. All right, well, both. You can <laughs> yeah, two okay. both so that's one way of doing it. Um, that's a, a nice, easy-ish way, uh, Da Vinci, if you've got, uh, you know, appropriate kitchen appliance tool. Oh, muddy. Hi, guys. Watching you from holiday in sunny Scarborough. Oh. Nice. Nice. Thank you for joining us from sunny Scarborough. And Keith says, mice have eaten his wiring in his car. That's random. 
and and I imagine very very annoying and frustrating. Yeah. Karen's finally used Roman count. It's amazing, isn't it? So cool. Yeah. So so cool. Oh, it just jumped a little bit there. Quite a bit. There we go. We're back back to where back to where we need to be. Oh, that same meat free eight pack flanny. They also sell at Sainsbury's under the Sainsbury's brand. Same company. They make it for them all. But the eight vegan burgers that are in most supermarkets, I think I'm sure pretty much made by the same company. Yeah. And agreed, they're, they're lovely, but they're not a quarter pound. Um, Steph says, the macadamia nuts are expensive, so it's a rare treat for me. A little goes a long way, though. Best to soak them so you can use half the amount. Well, so I, I did, that's the mistake I made the first time. I didn't soak anything at first. And then now I do. Been soaking me all overnight before we made them into milk. And somebody who has a better memory than us, um, Nick's, uh, you did have them. You picked them up, yellow stickered in a shopping vlog. Thank you. Thank you. Because, you know, we do a lot. We do a lot. We said the other day, I think it was in the Asda vlog we did, didn't we? We were saying about my lunchtime taste tests. It's, start, it's starting to get difficult to remember um, with the lunchtime taste tests, what I've eaten and what I haven't eaten. Um, so, yeah, that's another another tricky one sometimes because I've eaten a lot. Taste tested a lot, you know. Oh, Nadine, check out uh, our recent recipe of um, uh, spicy black bean soup. Lovely. If you like black beans and spices, because you can just pimp that up as much as you want. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. Uh, yeah, well, if you've had a payment go out, then you're a patron, aren't you? There you go. There you. Do you go. want me to go and confirm it for you uh, at some point? Right, I will do that, and I'll get back to you on WhatsApp about it. Um, are you called Amanda on there? Uh, Steph says, "I'm breaking out the juices today for my carrots and beets, having a glass before mowing the yard." That oh, sounds lovely. Do you remember actually. when we had a juice and we, we had a bit of a crush on uh, carrot, orange and ginger? Yeah. It was bloody gorgeous. In the summer months. It was so nice. Lovely stuff. Yeah, lovely stuff. <laughs> oh, I know that did jump then, didn't it? It did. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Freddie, do you use cookbooks still, or do you mainly find recipes online? Occasionally use cookbooks, absolutely. Um, I like to, if not do recipes from them, get ideas from them, mm. uh, at the least. Um, but uh, I do like to, it's like, uh, this is how I work, mostly. I've been really interest, interested in the African peanut stew. So I mentioned it in our group on Facebook and a few people were like, well, I've got a recipe, I've got one, blah, 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 blah. TMI, TMI, look on Google, right, what's the basics? All right, that seems to be a key in every recipe I'm looking at, so that's a basic. And then I build from there. Yeah. That's usually what I do when I'm interested in something. Yeah, and that's, I think that's a pretty good way of working, to be fair. It's not let you down so far, has it? No. Do you know what I mean? It works for you, which is great. Where were we now? Uh, down, I think. I think I did highlight the uh, question about uh, recipes. Oh, yeah. 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 Freddie P. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple of people commenting on, uh, on uh, your pineapple. Gadget. Gadge, yeah. Not seen it yet, Peter. Peter's just asking if anyone's seen the new Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness film. I've seen the trailer for it, and it does indeed look like it's all over the shop uh, and probably quite a difficult one to wrap your head around. Um, but I guess the clue's in the title. 
isn't it really? Oh, nice one, Steph. Let let us know how it goes for you. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I was just trying to figure out where we were up to. <laughs> uh, can I also, um, uh, no, see, I have to, I have to mention it now because it's one of the things that I find most annoying in, in the world. If somebody cares for you, cares about you, they won't pander to you. They'll tell you that you need to toughen up sometimes or take something on the chin or appreciate a good thing. If you then say, oh, I'll, I'll go away then. Just think about yourself and the way that you might be affecting all of those people around you and appreciate what you've got while you've got it, when you've got it. And don't try and make other people feel bad for calling you out. There we go. Now I'll move on from that. Incredibly infuriating. I must have missed uh, a comment. Thank you, Organic Silver Moon, for the super chat. Very, very, very much appreciated. Bless you. We Thank love, you. we love all we do. We do. We do indeed. Yeah, I'm going to get that peanut stew recipe done quite soon. It's uh, it's it's instantly gone into my top five all time meals uh, out of the stuff that Paul cooks. It's definitely definitely in my top five now permanently unless something better comes along mm. but i don't think it's gonna it's gonna leave that it, well, it that was position. gorgeous yeah i mean it was it was it was absolutely gorgeous it was sweet and creamy and peanutty and in our case very spicy because mm. uh, we liked it spicy but i mean even Stu waffled up a whole plate of it yeah um uh, and he's nowhere near the the uh, spice uh, maniacs we are. Mm. Uh, although he's much better. Oh, tons! Yeah, his, his tolerance has increased significantly oh. since doing the Time Times know. Two Sam Yang noodles oh, well, challenge with us. But um, of course, the obvious thing, and I was thinking about this before when we were when we were cooking earlier on. Um, for anybody who's not into spices and heat, um, it's obviously very easy to just not include that. Uh, in in a lot of these recipes, Alex is asking you, yeah, yeah, where's the noodle bowl in your top five ranking? I think I'd I think the noodle bowl, if I'm not mistaken, became my new favourite. So that would be number one. Then spaghetti and meatballs, which was my favourite, is now relegated to position two. So um, the peanut the peanut stew um, would probably currently sit in a bronze. Podium position, third place. And then what about the Thai bowl? Fourth. And then what about the bowl that I replicated from Molino Lounge? Oh, the burrito bowl. Yeah, that's great as well. So, yeah, well, I might have my top five right there. You never know. That does feel, that feels right for right now, for today. That feels right in terms of my top five meals. Yeah, it's a lot of bowls of food. Maybe I like bowls as well. Yeah, maybe you do. They're all bowl meals, aren't they? Yeah. Anywho, there you go. There you go. <clears throat> um, just very briefly, um, because you mentioned it the other day, uh, because we often, um, towards the end of our live streams, talk about kind of multimedia and what we've been watching um, i remember you saying the other day we've actually very recently finished off three series yeah one of them standard ma master chef we always watch it yeah so at this point the little vegetarian girl did not point she did a remarkably she was, well she was uh, incredibly amazing yeah sorry if we've given a spoiler to anybody there should have watched it soon and what's who's who's won though yeah also um, if it's a tank i want keen he grew on me yeah uh, you've, you've now took it from being a tiny little spoiler <laughs> into ruining the entire series of MasterChef for anyone who hasn't watched it. Uh, we finished Picard. Yes. 
epic and excellent That's and cannot amazing. wait for the third and final season, uh, which I assume will be towards the end of this year or hopefully, you know, towards the end of this year or early next year. Uh, and what was the other season, series we finished off? Outer Range. Outer Range. very strange. It's Eight a, episodes. It's a Western sci-fi. Josh Brolin. Stanley Josh Brolin. Gorgeous. We have mentioned it before. Barbra Streisand's death, so. Yeah. Very... So that makes him my cousin. <laughs> Me and her have been related a long time. But... Go on. Sorry. Uh, no, so I wasn't going to say anything particularly <laughs> other than it's very, very unusual. Um unusual uh series but quite compelling um and and i kind of wanted to keep watching it really unusual uh you described it western sci-fi didn't Wait, you that's what it is yeah western sci-fi yeah um so that's yeah we've got western unbound sci-fi. season two to start watching we both really enjoyed unbound season one which is kind of like an anime a weird weirdly animated original animated do this series me. Um, but that's very, very good. Uh, and of course, as Paul alluded to before, we are going to try uh, by hook or by crook to uh, watch the new Star Trek Strange New Worlds because it would just be rude not to, really, wouldn't it? What are you looking for? I'm looking for a link I shared so that it didn't show up what I did, the way I thought it was going to do. It just showed up as a link and I thought, oh, no, no, look, I'm looked at that now. But I think I'd share it in the chat now and everyone goes it's here somewhere okay don't worry i'll find it okay okay can't see what he's saying right this minute because he's got another tab open yeah i'm that sorry <laughs> i'm a little sip more water you do that but, um it's rather warm in here. That uh, <clears throat> tea was nice. Mm. What did you have? Uh, what was to- toffee chai. Toffee chai? Mm. Nice. Is that it? No. No, that's not it. That's what I Mmm. I'm not looking for... Oh, good God. Let me just do this. Yeah, thank you. Jeebus. Ah, I see. Yeah. It was actually something specific I wanted to show, though. There we go. New in merch. Uh, but check out all the rest of our merch while you're there. But let me know what you think of that. Are we going to the Northern Vega Festival next weekend? Yeah, got tickets already. There you go. We're going, Alex. Midnight on Disney. Moon at night. How long did we watch the trailer for that? I'm not sure. It rings a bell. Moon night. Yes, Nick's. We've uh, we've completed upload. Second season was a bit weaker than the first one, wasn't it? But it was still good. And it ended weird. Can you put your phone on silent, please? Can you not be rude with it? Um, your phone's been rude, and vicariously you've been rude by not stopping your phone from being rude. You are a rude man! You are rude! <laughs> <laughs> Linz, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it. you love you love watching. Thank Some, you. Someone has to. Particularly love that you loved watching the last five minutes where Paul was just trying to find a link and we were just sat here, like, ignoring his... We do apologise, but thank you, genuinely. Right. There you go. There we go. Now we're all caught up. We're all caught up. We're all sorted. Pretty much sorted. 
Uh, we will. Uh, will we be wrapping things up fairly soon? Yes. I think um, just because we've uh, we've kind of caught up with you all. We've got the cooking sorted out. That's important. We've answered some questions. Happy to answer a few more questions before we do kind of start to properly wrap things up. If that phone ping was one of our moderators in WhatsApp, that don't count. It means they've cheated to make my phone ping. I, no, it was a random person saying hi on YouTube in a comment. I don't agree. Hi. Well, that's fine. That's perfectly acceptable. I don't get when people say hi on it. Asda and Sainsbury's new vegan stuff. Hi. Oh, uh, Da Vinci. Yes, you know what? That might just become uh, a semi-regular feature of our um, Friday lives, ch chilling in the lounge. Um, a little bit of an outro or playing out at the end. It might just become a semi uh, a semi permanent feature. Semi permanent. Yes. Just just checking. Oh, Nicole, you, you know the channel. We are prolific uploaders. So, um, of course, I would never advise ignoring your studies, um, but time out is equally as important to allow your brain to rest um, and allow your brain to obviously uh, take in and retain more information. And our vlogs are a good place to do that. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Indeed he do. Oh, you know what I've, I've been getting while well, we've been talking about kind of watching stuff as well. I don't think I mentioned this to you, but I've been getting urges over the last couple of weeks. Red Dwarf. But not necessarily watching it from start to finish. Just picking it up. Certain yeah, absolutely yeah. classic episodes of Red Dwarf that I'd love to watch because I've not seen probably for, well, well over 10 years. Right. So like the very first pilot episode, I, I do want to watch that. And I want to watch the episode um, with Legion. And that's a classic episode. So, but I think they might. Some of them might be available on YouTube to watch. So, yeah, that's that's going to happen over the next week or two. Definitely. And there you go. There you go. Yeah. Big red dwarf fan. Right. We should allow everyone the opportunity to say au revoir. Au revoir to each other. Uh, whilst we um, pontificate. Is that even a word? Yes. Particular, is that? I don't I think you might mix two words there. Yeah, there. Possibly, yes, possibly. Indeed, you do. Uh, it's been delightful, as always. It's been delightful to connect with you all, um, answer some of your questions, just generally chat and spend a bit of time on a Sunday um, relaxing. Because believe it or not, the cooking was relatively relaxing for me. It was, I was, you know, I had expert uh, tutorage. Tutelage. Oh, and Ashley, thank you so much for the lovely flowers. Oh, yes. That's the bulbs in a bag. <laughs> yes. Cut off and pour in a bag. <laughs> That's funny, Imran. I remember a press screening where someone asked Craig Charles what a smeghead was and all the cast collapsed into fits of giggles. <laughs> Excellent team of people. Uh, so thank you so much, guys, for watching us uh, on our Sunday Live. Um, you've got vlogs for the next two uh, days, for sure. As in, the allotment vlog will be uploaded tomorrow and our meals vlog will be uploaded on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, I will get down round to some more recipe vlogs very soon. And uh, kitchen vlogs happen as I feel the need to do them. So they'll be then as well. As and when. And there might possibly be um, another random uh, vlog series starting at some point Probably. in the near future but we're going to tell you more about that another time because it's a secret william mcglone yeah mcglone 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 can't wait for jason's lunchtime test test this week we love you Jess. <laughs> oh thank you william um you didn't I, have one this week did you, you didn't have time to do one no well it was uh we've well, had it's been a weird couple of weeks because we've kind of almost had two bank holiday weekends back yeah. to back plus you've been running he's been running out of stuff to do yeah. we've been like 
Yeah. As you do. We're looking at some stuff here now. Said earlier. Yeah. 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 And I was like, oh, I'm second guessing myself now. Um, so it's getting a little bit tricky. The obvious solution, of course, is to just go for stuff that I know absolutely categorically I've not had. Um, and that's kind of what I'm doing right now at the moment. So, yeah. Uh, if anybody is interested in uh, the recipe for this, by the way, in the description of the video underneath is a link to the actual dedicated recipe vlog made for this recipe. Um, and that'll be a much easier watch. And I think the ingredients are on screen. I think. Um, thank you, Imran, for your recommendation. And Leanne, thank you also for your recommendation. <laughs> Greatly appreciated. <laughs> um, I, I think Leanne is, you know, a lot... Is it Mother's Day in America today? Canada. Ca oh, Canada. Yeah. We Happy are. Mother's Day, Canadian mothers. Canucks. Canucks, that's right, isn't it? That's the kind of term of endearment for people from Canada. Canucks. I don't know. It is. Okay. So that... Am I right there? Can a Canadian please confirm that Canuck isn't something offensive? Apparently Australia as well. Canada and Australia. Oh, right. mm. it's Mother's Day in America as well. Ah, also, yeah. America, actually. Canada and Australia, Mother's Day. Well, happy Mother's Day if you're in America, Australia or Canada. My loves. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Um, I was like, Hank Howard, hope the dragon moment is short. Lost Uncle Jason, have a wonderful evening. You too, my you darling. Too. Do pop along and have a look at Hank channel. Uh, if you get the chance. Yes, most uh, definitely. Did a recent unboxing and taste test from Bird and Blend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd like to say I was surprised when I saw that come up, but I wasn't that surprised. Wasn't. Really. <laughs> okay. We've had our false ending, which is often the case. We always do. Now we will have our proper ending. Yes. Uh, thank you very, very much for joining us today. We've had a lovely time. Uh, I shall look forward to tasting Jason's cooking skills. Our cooking. Yes. Love you. Mm. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye, loves.